Welcome back to the channel. On your screens, we are looking at the stock price of Mullen Automotive, and today the stock is down 5.97%, trading at $1.26. So uh, the volume today is quite uh, timid with just about 40 million shares that have exchanged hands compared to an average volume of 125 million shares. And as of this recording, we have just about two hours to the close of market. Today, uh, the stock opened at $1.30 and went as high as $1.38 before dropping down to $1.26. On your screens, you can see the graph of uh, how the stock has uh, moved over the past five days. You can see that actually there has been some gains, even though the stock is uh, dropping today. So uh, the stock peaked on Monday when it went as high as, let's see here, uh, about $1, close to $1.48, 47 cents before uh, slowly declining from Monday until today when we are sitting at $1.26. So the latest PR that we had, uh, you, guys, you guys remember, uh, is we there's the interview from Benzinga, Benzinga the all-access interview, in which, uh, again, the CEO uh, was pressed for, uh, you know, leads, you know, just any piece of information about the Fortune 500, the mystery Fortune 500, customer who has placed some substantial orders of EVs and uh, again uh, we did not get any closer to having an answer but uh, the CEO did say that by the end of uh, sec the second quarter of 2022 that company which is uh, engaged and his words in the pilot program for uh, to see if the EVs are feasible for their use will be uh, divulged. So that we will we are expecting that name of the Fortune 500 company by the end of the second quarter of 2022. At the very top of your screen, uh, you guys can see that today was not a very good day on Wall Street. The S and P 500 is down 1.02 percent. Dow 30 is down 0.87 percent. The Nasdaq is down 0.70% and even the Russell 2000 to which uh, the uh, stock ticker of Mullen Automotive was recently introduced is also down 1.75%. Only thing that seems to be doing well these days seems to be crude oil which is now sitting at $122 a barrel and that is still trending upwards. So uh, that is where we are sitting at with Mullen Automotive. Uh, again, I have said this a couple of times here on this channel. I truly believe that this is just a speculative uh, stock, irrespective of uh, the market capitalization, because so far there is still no substance to uh, most of the claims that are being made by the company. Uh, we are still at the battery cell level. They haven't built a vehicle capable pack. Uh, so most of the information we are getting, you know, is still at the very, very early stages of what you would expect of an automotive uh, company that has been out so long to be doing. Also, the uh, Mulen 5, uh, I don't think anybody has driven that yet. None of the automotive press, uh, people have seen it drive around, but nobody has actually gotten into the vehicle, started it up, driven it around to uh, be able to make some comps, you know. Uh, see if it's well put together, see what's underneath the hood, what type of battery is power, powering the vehicle. None of that. So it still remains a mystery. And this far into the day, uh, I think it's just that lack of transparency translates to what I would say uh, classify this stock as purely speculative. You can ride it if it's going up and then drop out if it's going down or short it. It's all up to you. But for me, uh, if I have serious money and, uh, you know, for me, serious money is a hundred bucks. <laughs> I would think twice, even three times before I put my money into this stock. So do be careful out there. Uh, I, I don't I don't think it's a scam. I just think it's a hustle, you know. So be very careful when you uh, invest in some of these companies without doing your own due diligence. All right, guys, good luck with your investments. We have about two hours, four minutes to the close of market. So I will jump off here. That way you guys can place your 
uh, you know, do your buys and sell orders before <laughs> the day closes. On your way out, don't forget hit that subscribe button. We need to grow and hit a thousand subscribers by uh, the midterm elections in November. Every new subscriber helps us get closer to that goal and we deeply appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.